Oh yeah, you know what time it is. It's time for Package from China. It, wait, what's that? what I'm doing here? It's not Wicked Gamer, it's Retro Ralph. Mamma mia. <laughs> I love that guy, I love Wicked. I asked him to make that intro because this is a package from China. This is a board that I got from AliExpress. Now why did I buy this and what is it? This is a Streets of Rage 2 board that's supposedly coin operated. I have no idea how they did it, why they did it. And as you know, Streets of Rage 2 never had an arcade release. Now, Streets of Rage 1 did on the Sega Megatech hardware. I've kind of talked about it before in live streams and in certain YouTube shorts, but what the Sega Megatech hardware was, it was a cartridge-based system, just like the Nintendo Play Choice 10, where people could go in and play Sega games for some time period. So however many credits you put in, you'd get so much time to play the game. And the games were very much the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive versions of those games, just coin operated. They might have been changed and manipulated slightly, but it was essentially the same version of those games. There weren't many of the games released. Streets of Rage 1 was one of them. I would have got Streets of Rage 1 on this bootleg AliExpress board, but unfortunately the only one they had available was 2. They sell 1, 2, and 3. They don't sell them all on one board from what I can see. So I don't know what to expect with this thing, but what we're going to do is... I was curious, that's why I bought it, and we're gonna put it into the candy cab and see, does it even work? Cause some stuff from AliExpress is broken or it's half baked or, you know, and I wouldn't at all condone you go out and buy these bootleg boards, but curiosity got the best of me. So let's go stick it in the candy cab and see what's up. Okay, so I'm over at the candy cab and you're probably wondering, well, it already shows Streets of Rage 2, what are you doing? Well, I'm running it on Mr. right now, so just so you know, Really getting this doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I can already do this on Mr. I even have this other thing called the RGB, RG, bleh, blah, 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 the RGB Pi, which can do it too, right? So there really isn't a whole lot of reasons to do this. You can do it cheaper. Well, you know, Mr. has gotten really expensive, so maybe you can't do it cheaper. But if you're really looking for just one game, and I don't even know if this thing's gonna even work, so we're gonna see soon. I'm gonna power down the candy cab. We're gonna stick the board in and see does this thing even work? Okay, so I'm gonna grab the Mr. Cade right here. I have it kind of just dangling in there. We're gonna disconnect the JAMA harness. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on powers on this right side. We're gonna put that on this bootleg board right here. So the thing about this board is it doesn't have a notch. So you'll see like a lot of the JAMA connectors will have a notch right here. So if your JAMA harness, and again, I'm not really condoning the usage of these, a lot of JAMA harnesses will have a little jumper pin right here. You'd have to pull that out to get this to work. So we're gonna stick that right on here. At this point, I mean, all, there's no documentation with this. I don't know if it uses any particular voltages or voltages need to be set a certain way. So I'm just gonna fire it up and see what we get. So I'm gonna sit it right here on the side. Actually, I'm gonna put it somewhere where it can't touch any metal or anything. Let's see. Uh, actually, if I hang it like that, Nothing will happen, it's not touching anything. So we'll fire it up right now and see what we get. Okay, we're in front of the candy cab. I'm gonna turn this on with my phone. All these things are on smart switches. So I'm gonna turn it on right here. Candy cab. We all know that song, okay. All right, well. The brightness is crazy high on the display for some reason. I don't know, that might be just the way the board's outputting. So the brightness is crazy high, but so far, it's in, um, it's in Japanese, but it's, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna credit this up, cause, yeah, so it says, so it says insert coin. The brightness is crazy, I'd need to turn that down eventually, but okay, so it says insert coin. Now it's, it's using the Japanese name, which is Bare Knuckle 2. Um, it was bare knuckle one, two, and three, but it does, it does seem like it's working. So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna coin this thing up. So I gotta credit it up. It's gotta, I gotta go down here to do it. Hold on. Uh, it's over here somewhere. All right, there it is. You can hear it. All right, that was weird. Okay, it's kind of, the board is kind of glitching out. So I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, the board's got some serious glitching going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't a good purchase. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, and it... Okay, that's weird. So there's sound effects that are missing. Wow, that's weird. The board is glitchy as hell. That might be a power thing. 
All right, let's do this. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, let's power this off. I'm gonna turn the voltage down just slightly. Yee. Okay. <laughs> well, see, if I waste my money, you don't have to waste yours. Okay, let me, um, let me turn the voltage down slightly on the power supply. It could be a voltage thing. I don't know what these bootleg boards, so hold on. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Let's see if that makes a difference. It might, you never know, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it back on. All right, let's coin it up again. I gotta, I gotta keep going down here to coin it up, so sorry about that. There's no free play. If there is a free play, yeah, it's still like artifacting like crazy. It could be a power thing, you never know. But it doesn't look promising, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. You know what I noticed? Watch, when you hit, um, when you do punch, you can hear the sounds, but there's no kick noise. And um, yeah, wow, this is, this is really shitty. <laughs> Okay, well, well, that was a waste of money. <laughs> let me fool with the voltage one more time. All right, let me fool with it one more time. We'll try. I'm determined to make it at least work a little bit, but man, not good. Not good so far. Okay, let me go check the voltage and I'll be right back. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Just bear with me here. Maybe it needs a little more voltage versus less voltage. I don't know. There's no instructions at all or anything on this. So I have no clue. There's literally nothing. It just came in a box. It came in a box that was actually um, inspected by customs. So that was cool. All right, let's try it again. Man, I love that music though. Okay, it's not artifacting. It just looks bright and it looks really bad. But here, let me point it up again. I can't actually see where, hold on. Sorry guys, I can't even see, there we go. Nah, it's doing it again. It's actually worse. I think this is a bust. Well, that's a bummer. I mean, the good news is this. I can easily just swap this out with the Mr. K to be back and run, up and running. The bad news is this thing cost me like 150 bucks. So I'm out 150 bucks, wow. That's pretty bad, dude. <laughs> I'm laughing because you have to laugh at this kind of stuff. So don't buy this. Don't buy this. Oh man, what a bummer. The music's still badass though. Yeah, it's like, I don't even know what the hell that is. Let's at least put in the mister and we'll play, we'll play, I'll play you out to me playing the actual game, not whatever this is. They got the coin up part right though, it, it coins up. All right, okay, so I plugged the mister back in. Um, I'm gonna select console ROMs and I'm gonna go to Genesis and I have both Streets of Rage 1 and 2 loaded on here. So we should, it should play those. Let's just do two since that was the whole point of the video. And, hold on, I think the volume's turned down on the mister, hold on. Let me turn the volume up. Oh God, okay. There we go, here we go. Streets of Rage 2. See, sometimes you just need to leave well enough alone. I can play my Streets of Rage 2. We're all good, and man, it looks freaking beautiful too. And the sounds are all there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, the mister is where it's at, man. Although the mister's gotten really expensive over the years, it's all about the freaking mister, man. In this game, I'm sorry, but Streets of Rage in general, these would have been great arcade releases in my opinion. They're just some of the best, some of the best beat-em-ups as far as I'm concerned. So anyways, <laughs> well, our little experiment was kind of stupid. 
Uh, I wasted 150 bucks, so you don't have to. It's kind of an interesting video though, you know? I mean, these bootleg boards, they've been out there for a long time. Now it might be, I might be able to tweak it and get it to work, but in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of dumb to buy something like this when you can load console ROMs up on a Mister or even the RGB Pi or even Pi to Jamma. There's a million different ways to do it if you want to display it on an arcade monitor for a candy cab or even like a full-size arcade cabinet, like a fight, a fighting cabinet with six button layout. So there's plenty of options. You can use a Pandora's box too. Anyways, that's it for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Put your comments below, I want to hear from you. And we will see you on the next one. I love Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage. If you enjoyed this episode and you love arcade gaming, go check out another. I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you in the next video.